Skies are crying, I am watching, catching teardrops in my hands. Only silence as it's ending, like we never had a chance. Do you have to make me feel like there's nothing? Smoke clears, I awaken and entangle you from me. Would it make you feel better? Don't wash me as I bleed. All my windows are still broken. I'm standing on my feet. You can take it. Hello, my name is Brianna Ladnier, Mississippi State President. What is your name and what branch did you serve in? My name is Herb Edmonds. I served in the United States Navy, 62 to 69. What was your position? The electrician's made on a Navy submarine. Have you served in any war? And if yes, which one? Vietnam. How long did you serve? From 62 to 69, well, seven years. Why did you join? Actually, I joined the Navy to avoid Vietnam. My whole class was getting drafted and going in the Army and winding up in Vietnam, so I was going to outsmart them. I went and joined the Navy and wound up off the coast anyway, so. But, no, not really. I joined the Navy to get away from home. I ran out of money at school. And if you can't afford an education, the Navy will pay for one, so I joined the Navy for the education. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part about your service? Uh, I guess it's a... Uh, being on a submarine, you're on a small unit, and it's like a family. Uh, it, I enjoyed that part of it. I did not enjoy the family separation part of it. Uh, the education they gave me was uh, it was excellent. Uh, you couldn't have beat it for the price. I got a two-year education for nothing, basically, except for time served in the nuclear industry. And the uh, education got me hired on at Ingalls when I left the Navy, so it was well worth it. What do you miss most about being in service? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't miss it anymore. I've been out since 1969. I don't really miss it now. I retired from the shipyard, and my family's raised, and now me and the wife finally got some time together, so I really don't miss it. Was there anyone you met in the service that made a great impact on your life? Uh, several shipmates that uh, unfortunately have passed on that uh, were like brothers. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of us would walk into the mess hall and the other guy would say, well, there's one, where's the other? I mean, you meet people like that. You make friends that like It doesn't matter whether it's the Navy, the Army, the Navy, you make friendships. And you don't, uh, you don't lose that friendship. And it allows me to meet those old, those people I haven't seen in years or so. So it just, um, there's at least two that I thought were brothers, and they really were, but they're both gone now, so. If there was one thing you could change for veterans, what would it be? Uh, I don't know. I, I never got involved with the VA, so I didn't get involved in that mix-up. I uh, stayed away from the VA. That part of it wasn't a problem with me, but every time I see something going on for veterans, it's normally put on by veterans. The only way veterans ever get uh, any recognition is from other veterans. That's, that part bothers me. Everything you see is veterans for veterans. No matter what the event is, it's put on by veterans. Hmm. So. What does it mean to you to be a veteran? I, uh, I, I served my time and I uh, thoroughly enjoyed what they'd done for me and to look at that flag and know that I did my part for that flag. That, that means a great bit of deal to me. Uh, I hate what's happening now to the uh, current veterans. Uh, 
they're they're being misused and abused now, and I hate that. I don't. I just don't like the way they're being treated. So, but uh, I, I did. My country did me well. Uh, when I came back in Vietnam, I, you're probably not old enough to realize. 1972 came back and we called baby killers. We were spit on. That part I didn't enjoy. Uh, the Vietnam veteran is probably the most maligned veteran in in the country today. Unfortunately, the people that were calling us baby killers in those days are now fighting to be able to kill babies. So it's the same political group that did it then is doing it now. <laughs> I may be a little deeper than you wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel the country has honored you as a veteran? Yes, me. And personally, I do. I, I do. Uh, it's when I see other people that get dishonored uh, that bothers me. I have no qualm in my time. I did my time and I had enjoyed it. So, I, uh, it's, you know, it's just, to me, it did me well. It did me well. Couldn't have got the education anywhere else for the price. So. What is the advice you could give anyone who wishes to join the service? Education. If you want to join, no regardless what service, look at the education points. Uh, nobody wants to hire a rifleman when you get out, but if you've got an education that you can get from the military, uh, a, a trade or, or like in my case, I was a nuclear engineer when I retired when I got out. So the shipyard hired me right away. So uh, if you're going to look to go in there, look for the education opportunities that you're going to get. Even after you get out, the Navy or the service will provide you the education opportunities. So you always got to look for the education opportunities. Uh, don't go in with your eyes closed like most of us did. All the promises you make, they make you. When you go in, get it in writing. <laughs> if you're going to sign a contract with the United States government, make sure they sign the same contract you do and you hold them to it. Otherwise, they're going to take you when you get out. If you had a choice, would you do it again? Uh, yes, I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, my wife and two children, uh, all part of it, you know, and I wouldn't change that for nothing. Yeah, I'd do it again. I'd do it now if they'd let me, but I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> to ride these new submarines, I don't know if you've seen any of them, but we commissioned the Mississippi here in Pascagoula a couple years back. And uh, that ship was so far removed from the submarine I came off of, it's, it, it's amazing. But I, today, if I could ride that thing, I'd go back and see the day. Well, thank you for your service. You appreciate it.